Hey there, Michael Daniels here. I uh, hope everyone is well. Um, this video today is going to talk about using Chrome browser um, on desktop on a Windows machine, also on my Pixelbook and Chromebook kind of, but I don't have a Chromebook, but I'm going to go over that. And also on mobile, show you some cool little tips and tricks. Check this out. This first tip is going to show you how to select the URL using a keyboard shortcut. And this is the URL that I'm talking about. I'm going to press Control L while in the browser. And you see that it highlights the URL in the taskbar. Now on screen, you'll see my pixel book. I will be doing the same thing. Control L and you see it highlight the URL. Now on mobile. I can, if I choose, go to Amazon. There's two ways that I can do this. You can see the, the URL at the top. I can hold down. I'm using my thumb to hold down. And it brings up a menu where I can copy and share, etc. So I can highlight it. I can do that. Another way to do this is also by, if Amazon is open, I click the three dots up at the top. And then once I click that, I can go to share. Then I can scroll down, I can share it with copy to clipboard, I can share it in you know, my messaging service, my email, anything like that, I can share it with any app that way. So you can, it'll carry the link over. The next tip is going to be caps lock. I know on a Windows machine and a keyboard it's kind of easy because they have the word caps lock on there. But both on a Pixelbook and a Chromebook, you don't have this, so you have to do a sequence of keys that I'm about to show you. And on mobile, it's basically clicking the arrow, at least it is on my Android phone, you'll see in that lesson. So on computer, if I just press caps lock, I can type, here is a message, okay? That's just caps lock, and I can turn it off and on, toggle through. Now, over on my Pixelbook, you have to do it a little differently. What you have to do is you have to press Alt and the search key. Alt, search key. And you'll see a menu come on your screen and tell you that Caps Lock is on when you do this. So if I go Alt, there it is. There's the message that comes up. Caps Lock is on. So when I type, here is a message. You can see that the caps lock is on and really to turn the caps lock off is all, all you have to do is hit shift and it'll take caps lock off and then I can just type in here is a message and on mobile you will see the keyboard down there the black arrow if I if I click that twice real quickly you see how it puts a line underneath it I can say here is and I like to do swipe Mess texting so a message and there you go you can see it does it all caps to turn it off I just click the arrow again and it just takes it off so that's all three devices in caps lock this next tip is for opening a link on a web page in a new tab but also taking you there so for example I'm gonna go right here and I'm going to click on the link, but before I click the link, I'm going to, on Windows, using the Chrome browser, I'm going to hold down Control Shift and then click the link, and it opens and takes me to my channel because that was where the link was going to take me. If I just wanted to open the tab and not take me there, I can just hold down the Control key and then press this and see how it opens in a new tab up above but it doesn't take me there. That's the difference, okay? This is exactly the same on a pixel book, so I'm not gonna show you that one. Um, and mobile, it just opens in a new window whenever you click a link. This last tip and trick uh, I have fallen in love with. Basically, it is Control-Shift-T while you're in a browser, and what it does is it opens your last closed tab. 
there's a lot of times when I close a tab and I'm like, gosh, where was that? Or I wish I would get, go back there. And this is sequential. So it'll take you back one, then the next one, then the next one. It'll bring you back to each one. So I'm going to hit Control Shift T so you can see what I'm talking about. So if I'm on my website, Control Shift T, watch the tabs at the top. I hope these tips were useful. I know that I love uh, using the Chrome browser, and it and when it, once I learn these, it makes my productivity much better, and I think it'll help you too. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or if this helped you or anything of that nature. Hope this helps, and be sure to subscribe to my channel and watch some of these other videos wherever they are. Um, thank you for watching.